Thin Posidine, brand names, Caventon, Intellectol, chemical name, ethylopovincaminate, is a synthetic derivative of the vinca alkaloid vincamine, sometimes described as a synthetic ethyl ester of apovincamine, an extract from the lesser periwinkle plant. Thin Posidine was first isolated from the plant in 1975 by the Hungarian chemist Saba Shante. The mass production of the synthetic compound was started in 1978 by the Hungarian pharmaceutical company Richter Gedeon. Thin Posidine has been clinically used in many countries for treatment of cerebrovascular disorders such as stroke and dementia for more than 30 years. Due to its excellent safety profile, increasing efforts have been put into exploring the novel therapeutic effects and mechanism of actions of vinpocetine in various cell types and disease models. Recent studies have revealed a number of novel functions of vinpocetine, including anti-inflammation, antagonizing injury-induced vascular remodeling and high-fat diet-induced atherosclerosis, as well as attenuating pathological cardiac remodeling. These novel findings may facilitate the repositioning of vinpocetine for preventing or treating relevant disorders in humans. Vinpocetine is not FDA approved in the United States for therapeutic use. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has ruled that vinpocetine, due to its synthetic nature and proposed therapeutic uses, was ineligible to be marketed as dietary supplement under the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act FDCA. Controlled clinical trials As of 2003 only three controlled clinical trials had tested older adults with memory problems. However, a 2003 Cochrane review determined that the results were inconclusive. In vitro, animal, and human studies kindling models in rats has shown vinpocetine to exhibit anticonvulsant properties. The most pronounced anticonvulsant effects were observed in pentalintetrazole PTZ kindled rats although there was also an effect on amygdala kindled and neocortically kindled rats. Vinpocetine has also been shown to abolish 3H, GLU release after in vivo exposure to 4-aminopyridine, 4-AP, which suggests an important mechanism for vinpocetine anticonvulsant activity. Vinpocetine has been investigated in animal models as a potential anti-inflammatory agent. Vinpocetine inhibits the upregulation of NF-kappa-B by TNF-alpha in various cell tests. Reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction also shows that it reduced the TNF-alpha-induced expression of the mRNA of pro-inflammatory molecules such as interleukin-1-beta, monocyte chemoattractant protein-1, MCP-1, and vascular cell adhesion molecule-1, BCAM-1. In mice, vinpocetine reduced lipopolysaccharide inoculation induced polymorphonuclear neutrophil infiltration into the lung. In healthy adults, two studies have showed an improvement in memory. Another study looked at cerebral circulation and intellectual impairment found a correlation between aging brain and intellectual impairment, suggesting its clinical efficacy in improving intellectual impairment in patients with aging brain. In acute ischemic stroke patients, vinpocetine inhibited NF kappa B dependent inflammation patients treated with vin Vinpocetine had a better recovery of neurological function and improved clinical outcomes during the acute phase and a three-month follow-up. These findings identify vinpocetine as an inflammation modulator that could improve clinical outcomes after acute ischemic stroke. Mechanism of action Vinpocetine acts as a phosphodiesterase PDE type 1 inhibitor in isolated rabbit aorta, independent of vinpocetine's action on PDE. Vinpocetine inhibits IKK preventing I-kappa B degradation and the following translocation of NF-kappa B to the cell nucleus. Increases in neuronal levels of DOPAC, a metabolic breakdown product of dopamine, have been shown to occur in striatal isolated nerve endings as a result of exposure to vinpocetine which may upregulate dopamine receptors. Such an effect is consistent with the biogenic pharmacology of reserpine, a structural relative of vinpocetine. However, this effect tends to be reversible upon cessation of vinpocetine administration, with full remission typically occurring within three to four weeks. Vinpocetine has been reported to have cerebral blood flow enhancing and neuroprotective effects. Side effects Some studies have noted flushing, rashes, or minor gastrointestinal problems in some subjects, however, these side effects did not warrant discontinuation of the medication. Some users have reported headaches, especially at doses above 15 mg per day, as well as occasional upset stomach. The safety of vinpocetine in pregnant women has not been evaluated. 
Vinpocetine has been implicated in one case to induce a granulocytosis, a serious condition in which granulocytes are markedly decreased. Some people have anecdotally noted that their continued use of vinpocetine reduces immune function. Commission E warned that vinpocetine reduced immune function could cause apoptosis cellular death in the long term. References <laughs>